Listen, folks, I hate to break this news to you, but Benjamin Netanyahu is a war criminal. Just like Anthony Blinken is a war criminal. Just like Joe Biden is a war criminal. The difference, though, between Blinken, Biden, and Netanyahu is that Netanyahu is actually in charge of the IDF. The same IDF that killed three of its own hostages, okay? They killed three Israeli hostages. They admitted to shooting these guys, okay, while they were bare-chested, unarmed, and waving a makeshift white flag. If that is not a war crime, I don't know what is. They shot at unarmed, shirtless men holding a white flag. If that is not a war crime, I don't know what is. I really don't know what that is. I mean, how do you justify shooting three shirtless, unarmed men holding a white flag? How do you justify that? Fox News, idiots. MSNBC, CBS, ABC, NBC, mainstream scum. How do you not call that a war crime? How do you mistakenly shoot three shirtless, unarmed men holding a white flag? How do you do that? And they didn't just wound them, they killed them. They murdered them. They murdered their own countrymen, hostages, does that not make you wonder why there are nearly 19,000 dead Palestinian men, women, and children? Over 40,000 injured? And there's still 130 hostages. The hostages that Israel got back, not a single one, not a single one did they rescue. Every last hostage that they got, Hamas gave to them in a hostage trade-off. So nothing that Benjamin Netanyahu has done, activating 300,000 reservists in Gaza, has rendered one rescued hostage. Not one. Not one. But now on top of that, the IDF killed three Israeli hostages that were shirtless, unarmed, and waving white flags. I mean, you know, if he's not a war criminal, I don't know like what a war criminal would be. Benjamin Netanyahu is a war criminal. Just like Joe Biden, just like Anthony Blinken, they are war criminals. I am not going to vote for a war criminal, okay? I'm not doing it. Going to vote for Jill Stein or Bernie Sanders or write in Abraham Lincoln, but I'm not voting for a war criminal. Joe Biden's a war criminal. I voted for him last time, won't vote for him again. He's a war criminal. Joe Biden is a war criminal. Anthony Blinken is a war criminal. But they're not in charge of the IDF. They just send them a lot of money to buy tanks and guns that they then use to kill civilians. They're war criminals for that. But Benjamin Netanyahu's in charge of the IDF. And Benjamin Netanyahu's talking about liquidating, eliminating, uh, eviscerating Hamas. But what he's done is he's made Gaza one of the most densely populated little nothing countries, two times the size of D.C., into a parking lot. And in the process, he's killed the vast majority of the people have been innocent men, women, and children. Little dogs and little cats. Not Hamas terrorists. And they are terrorists. And they are war criminals. And I have zero tolerance for them. However, however, they're underneath the ground. And all the people above the ground are civilians. And everybody above the ground is getting killed, including three Israeli hostages. You know, I've seen people say that Hamas are freedom fighters. They're not freedom fighters. They're terrorists, okay? They're terrorists. I have zero, absolutely zero empathy for them. The hell with them. But the vast majority of the 19,000 people that are dying are innocent men, women, and children. They have nothing to do with Hamas. Nothing to do with Fatah, nothing to do with this war, nothing to do with anything. They're just trying to eke out a way to live. And they have nowhere to go. But now that the IDF happens to kill three hostages, now everybody's like, oh my God. 
<coughs> it should make you think what these soldiers are doing. Remember, the media gets to go with them, but the media is told what to film. They have to show the media what they're going to use before they use it. So we don't actually know what they're doing. But we do know that they murdered three shirtless, unarmed men waving a white flag. We know that. And they happen to be three hostages, Israeli hostages. So one can only imagine what they're doing to the nearly 19,000 dead Palestinians and the 40,000 plus injured. And injured, it's not like a little paper cut. They're missing a leg, an arm. Little five-year-old might be in a wheelchair. That kind of injured, maimed, impaled. You know, that kind of injured. Israelis are protesting. I mean, is Benjamin Netanyahu the only freaking person in Israel that can be your prime minister? Couldn't you maybe find someone like maybe, I don't know, Yitzhak Rabin, maybe? Uh, murdered by Zionists, of course. I don't think you're going to find someone like Yitzhak Rabin, but could you find someone that's not like a Benjamin Netanyahu or an Ariel Sharon? I mean, you got somebody over there that's not a war criminal. Maybe put them in there for a little while. Let them be in charge. Maybe that'll change it a little bit, you know? Maybe. Or maybe you'll just kill the other 129 hostages you got left. Because when you shoot everybody, you're going to hit your own people too.